In this video, we're going to talk about setting up folder redirection via group policies in your Active Directory domain. Now, folder direction, redirection basically allows me to, instead of saving a file or a folder onto my local computer, allows me to redirect that to a server. Probably the, one of the most common re, uh, uses for this is going to be the My Documents folder on your computer. Now, the My Documents folder on your computer is stored locally on your computer, which means if you go from one computer to another computer, you're going to have two different locations for My Documents and therefore two different sets of documents. And it's very easy for you to possibly lose files this way because now you're dealing with files amongst multiple computers. Additionally, with the My Documents, because you have all these files on multiple computers, possibly hundreds or thousands of different computers, all with different users using them, it's possible you might lose data on some of these computers, which can become very problematic in a business environment. So a lot of businesses, what they do is they set up a folder redirection group policy in order to redirect My Documents and other folders into a central server, which can then be easily managed, backed up, and restored if necessary. So let's go ahead and take a look at what a folder redirection GPO looks like. So first off, my environment, well, it's a fairly simple environment. Uh, this is my domain controller. You can see this is a domain controller in my test2016.local domain. And then I have a single workstation right here uh, with a user who's logged in as test user one. There's currently no folder redirection setup, so let's go ahead and do that. I want to I want to in this case redirect the my documents folder so that everything will be stored in one central location. So for that I'm going to go back to my domain controller and I'm going to open up the group policy management console. A new group policy management console, I actually want to set up a policy for all the users in my organization. So I'm gonna create this policy right here at the root. So I'm gonna right click, create GPO and link it here. For the name, I'm gonna call it redirect folder, space, my documents. This way, if I uh, need to come back at this group policies and edit these group policies at a later date, it's very obvious exactly what this group policy does, and I don't have to worry about possibly uh, filtering through a single group policy that may have like four or five different items, such as deploying software and setting up restricted groups and folder redirection all in the same one. By setting them up as separate files and separate policies, it's quick and easy to be able to manage uh, both now as well as later when I need to troubleshoot anything. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and edit. Folder redirection is a user configuration option and it's going to be under the policies section. So under policies and window settings, we will see that there is a folder redirection option here, along with a list of all of the folders that I can redirect. Now, in this case, I'm specifically looking for the documents folder, which is this guy right here. Uh, however, we could see, oh, we could redirect a lot of other things in here. Um, for instance, if we wanted everybody in our company to have exactly the same start menu, or have a consistent start menu amongst multiple computers, then you could redirect their start menu. If you want their desktop, the icons on their desktop to be consistent amongst multiple computers, you could redirect that as well. Uh, pictures folder, music, downloads, links, and so on. So I want the My Documents, and if I double click on that, well, there's nothing in there. I have to right click and properties, there we go. And it says, okay, yeah, what's your what's your setting? You can do a basic, which means redirect everybody to one specific to one location or advanced. And so you can specify certain groups go some places and other groups go others. In this case, I'm gonna just go with a basic. I'll see, yeah, okay, we want to create this in a folder, and then it asks me for a root path. Now that root path actually has to be a network share can't just be a local path on this computer. It has to be a network share. So before I continue with this, 
I want to create a network share on my domain controller here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open up File Explorer. And on the C drive, I'm just going to create a new share. And let's call this uh, redirected for lack of a better, uh, of a more inventive name there. I'll just call it redirected. And then I will go ahead and share that. Uh, sure, specific people. And I'll say authenticated users. No, domain users, that sounds better. That way, not only does a user have to be authenticated, but they have to actually be a member of the domain in order to access it. I'll say add and then change the permissions to read and write. All right, so there's the path, backslash, backslash, DC1, backslash, redirected. In a business environment, you probably have a, f a separate file server that you would actually be using for this path. Uh, in this case, I only have the one machine, so I'm using the domain controller. Um, not always best practice to redirect things to your home, uh, to your domain controller. All right, so we come back to our folder location. Uh, let's go ahead and do backslash backslash DC1 backslash redirected. And we can see down here is the example. If we have a user named Claire, the folder will be or documents will be re redirected to DC1 redirected Claire and then documents. Uh, the Claire is there because this option right here, we told it, go ahead and create a folder for each user under the home path. Uh, there are other options to see. User's home directory, which you have to actually specify in a different location. Uh, redirect to a specific location, so it's not actually creating a folder for them, it's just sending everybody in the company to the one location. And then user profile, you have to specify that in the user uh, properties as well. So for simplicity, we'll go ahead and say, yeah, go ahead and create a new folder for each user under the following path. And so as users log in, a new folder will be created. Go ahead and say, okay. Tells me, hey, uh, this may not work with every operating system. That's fine. I'll go ahead and say yes. And then go ahead and close my group policy editor and my policy is now applied. Right now I'm looking into my redirected folder and I see nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump onto my other machine here. I'm gonna update my group policy. So I'm just gonna do a gp update slash force. And I believe once that's done, I have to actually log off and then log back in for the policy to take effect. We'll find out. Uh, yes. Yes, it does. All right. Okay to log off? Yes. Not a problem. Let's see. Has it created the folder yet? No, has not created the user's folder yet. Um, task host. Sure. Now when I log into my test, test user one account and it applies, it says it's, yeah, it's setting up the folder redirection policy. And when I look at my domain controller, I can see a test user one folder has been created. All right, hey, that's, that's kind of nice. It created the test user one folder for me. Uh, there is a documents folder in there. Uh, ooh, it set up permissions. It specified it so that not every user can get, get access to it. I'm gonna go ahead and say okay, or continue. Uh, ooh, denied. Hmm, that's actually really good. When I come back into my second machine here with my uh, test user one folder or test user one and I go into my documents, I'll see that there's nothing in there, but I can come in here and I can create new folders and new files. And so for instance, I just created a test file here on my second machine as a as test user one. As an example, I'm gonna break the permissions on this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just take uh, ownership of it.
And now there's my test one, my test file. So yeah, so not only did the policy set up a share location where my files are automatically backed up to, uh, and so regardless of which computer I log into with test user one, it also set up those files in such a way that they are secure from other users intentionally breaking into them. 